Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Anthony from Vero Beach Portraits. Right now we're at Evergreen Media in Vero Beach, Florida, and we're doing a photo shoot for Valentine's Day. So we have this reddish theme going on. We have the savage red background and um, we have the ladies wearing red and pink. So just again, going with the whole vibe of Valentine's Day. And so we have Jackie here, Heather, Angie, and Corey, and Marisol is gonna be joining us in a few as well. Let me tell you a little bit about, first of all, the hospitality that we like to bring. So this is just good advice for any photographer, videographer. When you're having a shoot, bring waters for the people who are gonna be on your shoot, right? And so we like to use the Fiji water. The brand's not that important, um, but just get something that's like, seems high quality, you know? Don't get like that cheap dollar store type water that like everyone feels like this is gross, like I don't really wanna drink out of this, right? And then the other thing is make sure you bring a pack of straws Anytime a woman is drinking from a bottle of water, if she has lipstick on, she's gonna ruin her lipstick. So just these small things, these are really good conveniences that you always wanna do. So get the straws, get the water. Um, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's so worth it. It helps bring up the value of the shoot. Um, another thing, we have headbands. So we always bring a fresh box of headbands for the girls. So, you know, if they need to tie their hair up, if they forgot one, if they lost it, if they try to pull it and it breaks in their hair or something, you wanna have extras. And then we have some props here. Um, so again, these are just like Dollar Tree items. So we just got some fun, cool, playful type stuff that if they wanna use it, they have the ability to. If not, then that's okay too. And then we also have this necklace here that Angie's currently wearing. And this is from Rich Boyington. Um, so they let us borrow this necklace and we're probably gonna be switching it from girl to girl if they all wanna wear it. If not, that's okay as well. So let me tell you about our gear and our settings. So we're using the Sony a7 III camera, the Sigma Art 24 to 72.8, the Godox X2T trigger. And over here we have an Explore 600 on a softbox. And that's just gonna be a backlight to give a little bit of rim and separation from the background. We have another Explore 600 over here, which is gonna be our key light. And we have a 36 inch Octabox and a grid there. And then we have two frontal lights, which are just continuous video lights, just for the behind the scenes video to make it more interesting. So the, the GVM 880RS. And this one, we tuned it to red to kind of go with the theme. Again, just to give the video a little bit more appeal. And then this one's a white to basically light the subject and also just so the red's not overpowering because red could definitely be very powerful with the sensor. Now, in terms of our settings, we're at ISO 320, we're at 1 160th shutter and our f-stop is 5.6. So the reason we're at 5.6 is because this is a 2.8 lens and anytime you double the maximum aperture of the lens, you get the sharpest images. We have plenty of light output, so we wanna be at 5.6 to get the sharpest images. Um, we're at 1 160th shutter just to kind of kill the video lights a little bit because we don't want those to interfere with our photos. And we're at ISO 320 just so we don't have to cr crank up the uh, intensity from our strobes too much. So we're gonna be doing this shoot with, like I said, all these ladies, they're each gonna have their own photo shoot and their own behind the scenes video, but we're just gonna keep this intro and plug it on to all the videos just so you see what's going on and we don't have to waste time by re-recording this many times. So we're gonna get started with Angie. Okay, so our key strobe is at 132nd power and our backlight is at 1256. So what I'm gonna do right now is take a shot with no lights on, just so you guys could see how that looks. So Angie, just look this way and pose, please. Okay, and then just hold, I'm gonna take a series of three photos, just hold the same pose for all three of these, okay? Okay, so this is the photo without any lights on and you can see how dark it is. The video lights are doing something for us, but not enough to make a well-exposed photo. Let's do a shot with just the key light on. All right, and then you could see that that's really lighting her up. It's also lighting the background. So let's take a photo now with the backlight on as well. And look this way, Angie. All right, and so that's the photo with the backlight on also. So if you look at her hair, if you look at her cheek, if you look at uh, the left side of her dress, her shoulder, it's just giving a little bit of light and a little bit of separation there. So we like the way this looks, so now we're gonna start shooting.
So the way that we have the exposure set property, we're working with the inverse square law. So the inverse square law basically says the closer the light is to your subject, um, the more contrast there's going to be in the image. And then the more distance from the subject to the background, the more the light falls off. So for instance, because the light's close to her, from here to here would have one exposure, and then potentially from here to here would be a different exposure. Um, so she's in a certain exposure range, but because the background is further behind her, it's in a different exposure range, so it naturally falls a little bit darker. So if you're having issues where you feel like your background's not lit enough, you actually move the light further back, and then the range for the same exposure f-stop would be greater. If you feel like you want the background to be a little darker than the subject, you bring the light closer to the subject, it would be illuminating the subject properly, and the background would fall off being darker. Mm -hmm.